This bombshell beauty right here can ride like a wind. She got one more to go. Happy Tuesday, you guys. Welcome to Barrel Race for Life. My name is Maddie Stoltman. This past weekend was a little wild. I still need more sleep. I feel like I say this to you guys every Tuesday, so you're probably sick of it by now. Um, but we had a rodeo where I ran the slack on Friday night had a roping at our house on Saturday, and then Sunday I went to a barrel race, and then fit some work and riding other horses and everything else in between there as well. So um, it was a little bit crazy, but I'll show you guys all about it. <laughs> ulcers <laughs> seriously it's a high and chew I don't even know so anyway <clears throat> just had him shod Monday he ripped a shoe off at Cheney on Friday random Friday night without the shoe and then my shoer couldn't do anything about it till Monday so we did that Monday and then I rode him Tuesday and then Wednesday went to ride him and he had a shoe hanging off on the hind so now it's Friday morning and I'm taking him to get this fixed. So I've got to ride him once this week, which is not really ideal, but uh, he's got such fragile feet. I can't really ride him with the shoe half hanging off his foot. So off we go to get this fixed. Thankfully, a couple friends came along with me this time and I asked one of them to drive home so I could rest my eyes in the back seat. So we got home from the rodeo slack at 2 a.m. And for some reason, I thought that it would be a good idea to volunteer to do our cook shack for the roping. Um, we had a lady that was bringing a hot dog stand and setting up. However, she's had some health issues and had to cancel on us. So earlier in the week, I said, yeah, I could do that. Um, I don't really know how to cook a lot of things. I've never barbecued in my life. So I thought, well, I could make pulled pork. That's something I know how to do and we can have pulled pork sandwiches. Um, yeah, I definitely took off a lot more, took on a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, when I got home at two in the morning, I had four slow cookers in my kitchen of pulled pork that was cooked and ready to be pulled. And then I needed to put more in. So I stayed up until four in the morning doing that and then had to get up early the next morning uh, to work with roping all day. Uh, so thankfully my mother-in-law and her husband came and saved my life. Uh, they worked the concession stand for me. Um, so I had everything prepped and ready to go and was able to do other stuff with the roping. But let me tell you, I was freaking so tired. We hosted three ropings during the day on Saturday. Cody entered two of them and actually did really well in one of them. He placed twice in one of the ropings and I'm really proud of him. He won't brag about it, but I'm gonna brag about him. Well, since it's just not busy enough around here, we're headed barrel racing it's Sunday today. Headed down to Moxie, which is not that far from here. I'm um, gonna pick up one of my lesson girls that I teach. She's going to come along with me. Uh, I've got Claude in the trailer, so off we go. I was really 
really happy with how Claude did this weekend. Um, our rodeo run, of course, we had knocked a barrel, so I wasn't too excited about that. Um, it was sort of my own fault. He gets so antsy going in and lining up and then turning, and he, when I turned him to go to the first barrel, he kind of took off before I was ready, and it just put us at a weird angle coming into the first barrel we tipped it. So it happens sometimes. Um, I'll take some responsibility on that one. Uh, and then our Sunday run at the barrel race, we ended up third. I was so happy with him. Uh, there was only three 16s. There was a 16.7, a 16.8, and a 16.9 out of, I think, about 70 entries or so. Uh, so we ended up third. I was really, really happy with his run there. He did freaking awesome. Um, it was about a million degrees. Um, it tends to be a little bit hotter. Uh, that location's about an hour-ish south of here. Um, and it was about 10 degrees hotter there than it was here at home. Um, but Claude did awesome. I was excited to go and get to run the barrel race. So that was awesome. Um, this coming weekend, Jada and I are heading down to the brand barrel racing finals. Uh, it is in Rochester, Washington for the first time ever this year. Um, I'm only taking her, which is going to be really weird to only have one horse for the weekend. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. It's a kind of a smaller arena, so it'll be really good for her to make a comeback. I've been riding her, kind of doctoring her, making her, uh, making sure she feels really good after she got kicked a few weekends ago. Seriously, the luck, I tell ya. Um, but thankfully, she's back riding, uh, feeling great. So I'm looking forward to that this coming weekend. Uh, and as always, you guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my channel.